Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hunt. Today's episode we're going to be shooting these two bows up against each other. We've got the Bowtech Revolt up against the Matthews VXR 31 and a half inch axle axle bow. So we're going to shoot these, put them head to head, see which one feels and shoots more comfortably and then I'll let you guys know my thoughts on each bow. So if you guys want to see which one I'd rather go home with today, then go ahead and stay tuned. First up that we're going to shoot here is going to be the Bowtech Revolt. I haven't shot this bow for a while. It's been out of stock. So now that he's got a new one in, I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. So it is set up at a 28 and a half inch draw length. Um, set up that way because the, the Matthews VXR had that, that uh, mod put on. So I didn't want to change that. I just changed this one because it is um, adjustable from 20 see yeah 26 inches up to 31 inches um, no bow press needed or anything so that is very nice um, so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the initial balance it's a little top back heavy right there but once you threw a stabilizer down there I'm sure it would just flatten out perfectly so at 28 and a half inch draw 70 pound draw weight let's go ahead and pull this back and check out that draw cycle very smooth draw cycle. Good back wall. Doesn't really want to creep forward at all. Um, yeah, let's pull that back one more time. Drops into that back wall real nice and kind of like gent gentle. One of, probably one of the most smooth drawing bows out of this year's lineup. Okay, feels, shoots really good at 28 and a half inch draw. That honestly felt really good. Felt like I was able to have a good follow through and everything. So now let's focus in on that uh, hand shock. Very minimum hand shock, that is not a lot at all. I'm not really feeling any jump forward either. Shoot this again. Yeah, very dead in the hand. That is actually shooting really, really well. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. So now let's go ahead and grab that VXR31 and uh, see how that's shooting up against this revolt. Okay, now we've got the VXR 31 set up at 28 and a half inch draw and then 70 pound draw weight as well. Let's go ahead and do the draw cycle, see how comfortable it is drawing back. I almost like that draw cycle more. <laughs> um, yeah, so everybody's reaction now when they shoot that VXR is it is so unbelievably dead in the hand. Like, you can't even explain it and you don't know until you go shoot it because there's literally been times where I'll shoot it and be expecting just like a regular, almost like flinching on it like a regular bow because once that string hits it's like and yeah there's there's none of that there's no hand shock no jump forward just to go with the second shot wow honestly 
I haven't shot this bow in a long time because it's been out of stock as well. I've been shooting the Prime Black 3 and that one's really taken over that first place spot, but after shooting this bow, I don't know man, I might be going back to the VXR. Because originally that was my first choice. <laughs> this thing is pretty freaking incredible. Smack my arrows, that didn't sound good. Um, anyway, I have been a Hoyt guy. I still own a Hoyt. A lot of people are gonna say, you know, if this is the bow that I choose, people are going to say, oh, you're a Matthews guy, Matthews fan, everything. For those of you that are Bowtech, this is a completely equal comparison. The way that this shot, those first three shots compared to that Revolt, this is winning for sure. But we're going to go test out the weight. We're going to test out the, the, the actual weight of the bow, the weight of the draw weight, make sure that it's actually dead on, and then shooting through the chronograph and seeing the speeds. So we're going to head over that way, go ahead and test out the speeds and the weight of these two bows, and go ahead and then compare the two to see which one I'd rather go home with. So let's head on over that way. All right, let's check the weight here on this VXR 31 and a half. We just got simple sight with a whisker biscuit added on, no stabilizers or anything. Let's turn this scale on. And hook this up. Yeah, 5.40 weight. And that again is that VXR 31. Then let's grab this Revolt. Reset this scale. And then hook this up. 5.23. And this still, this one does have a bit of a smaller sight on there. So those 0.2 pounds or whatever might be found in that different sight. So now we're gonna grab the chronograph, set it up, shoot through that and check the speeds. All right, first up shooting through the chronograph is gonna be the VXR31 and a half. It is set up at 70 pounds, 28 and an inch, 28 and a half inch draw length, shooting a 437 grain arrow. So first shot, we're gonna take two shots out of both bows. First shot is at a 291 feet per second. Let's go shot number two, same arrow weight, 437. See how consistent it is. There at 288, so right there in the t the low 290s for that for that VXR 31. All right, next up is going to be the Revolt, same setup, 70 pounds, um, 437 grain arrow, 28 and a half inch draw, both shooting through a whisker biscuit. First shot is 278, so a good 10 feet per second slower. And this is in the comfort setting, so in the performance setting, you're gonna gain those 10 feet per second. Right there, duplicate 278. So the Revolt, the Revolt is shooting 278, and the VXR is shooting about 290. Um, you're going to get about 10 more FPS switching from the comfort setting to the performance. So that's going to be, you know, pretty, pretty head-to-head uh, -head there with the speed comparison. Now we're going to throw the uh, draw weight on the scale and see how consistent the weight is. Both being set at 70 pounds, make sure that they're true to the 70 pounds. All right, first up is going to be the Revolt. See what that true draw weight is. So here we go, we've got 69.56 pounds, so just right there, half pound light of 70, so then let's grab this VXR and see if it's near the same. We're at 68.74, so that's actually two and a quarter pounds or sorry, one and a quarter pounds lighter than that 70 pounds. So let's go shoot 
a group and see how those are shooting. Now time for our two arrow grouping. Um, first two shots are gonna be out of the revolt and we're gonna be aiming nice and steady. No stabilizers or anything, just the sight and the rest. Anchor in and follow through. Good shot there. Let's go with second arrow and see if we can get a good group here at the revolt. Punch the trigger on that one, but decent group there. Now the VXR, let's do two arrows out of it and see where these two are shooting. Good shot there. Second shot out of this VXR. See where that's hitting. Good shot there. So let's go check out those groups and see where they're hitting. All right, so we have basically the exact same groups here. So these two are gonna be from that VXR and these two are from the Bowtech. Literal identical groupings. Probably not necessarily 100% the bow, but you can tell that I'm pretty consistent with the first and second shot out of each bow. So that's good. So now let's go talk which bow I'd rather take home. All right, so that is it for today, guys. Shooting these two bows head to head. Um, been a lot of fun. I haven't shot these bows in a long time, so it was really nice to get back to a good bow comparison. Um, Let's just get down to it. The one that really felt a lot better in my hand shooting, shot a little bit faster, shot, um, yeah, just felt better in my hand. It's gonna be to the VXR 31 and a half inch axle axle bow. Great shooting bow. Um, no doubt the Bowtech is a great shooting and feeling bow. I uh, haven't shot that one in a while. This new green color that they've got too is pretty killer looking. Um, but yeah, my choice is right here gonna be the VXR31, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a comment down below. Um, give this video a like, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and then go ahead and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much. I just wanna say I really appreciate each and every one of you guys, and we will see you guys next time.